Hey guys, so I wanted to start this video off by sharing one of our many holiday traditions. So every year for the first day of Advent, we start our countdown and we do our movie tradition. So the movie tradition we have is the Polar Express and to make it extra special, I make hot chocolate, we put marshmallows, candy canes, and then the kids get their advent calendars. I do super simple chocolate advent calendars every year. These are pretty much the same. They just have different designs. And so underneath each flap for each day counting down to Christmas, there is a piece of Santa chocolate and it's a Santa figure doing different things which is super cute so I made hot chocolate for all the kids and then we put marshmallows in them and candy canes to make it extra special and then our movie every single year for the first day of advent on the first of December is the Polar Express I absolutely love this movie I mean, is there anybody out there who isn't obsessed with this movie? Because I know I am. So that's definitely one of the traditions that we try to stay true to every single year. I know my kids are getting older and some of the traditions are a little bit juvenile for them. But I know my youngest, who's nine, absolutely loves keeping up with a lot of the traditions that we have during the Christmas season. And this one, I'm sticking to this until the kids are adults. When Santa's sleigh bells ring, I listen Sunday. Woo! We finally go on Christmas shopping, y'all. Finally. We actually started, what, like two days ago on Amazon. Got a couple things on there for the kids. And now we're actually going to go and get like physical gifts because it's literally only two weeks left for Christmas and I have not been thinking about getting anything done. So I need to get myself together and I need to go Christmas shopping. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. If I can't finish my Christmas shopping today, at least I'll get the majority of everything I need to get done. So I'm going to go. So I'm going to go. I have a couple of places I want to hit up. I'm going with my husband. And um, hopefully we'll get that checked off the list today because your girl has been slacking. Your girl has been slacking big time. I'm usually a lot more prepared than this. Um, and to not have nothing, not even stocking stuffers, I'm like shocked at myself. I'm really shocked at myself. I can't even look at myself right now. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to get 
mostly everything done. The kids are older, so like it's not like we're having to buy a ton of stuff for them. I don't buy a ton of stuff anyway when it comes to Christmas shopping. But like the things that they do ask for tend to be on the more expensive side, but we're keeping it simple and we're not going overboard. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can on their lists and then we'll just go from there. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we'll see what we get done. I'm sorry you guys I did not take you with me um, the last clip I showed or the last clip I shared was when we um, were at the Indian restaurant because that's where we went first to go eat so that we could have the strength and the energy we needed to go shopping and we did a pretty good job um, shopping today I found a lot of what I needed uh, we we went to a bunch of stores and then eventually I was like let's just call it let's call it a day and then I'll pick back up tomorrow but I did get a lot of gifts that I was looking for so that was good so I'm gonna be going back um, out tomorrow to another mall and hopefully I can finish up tomorrow because um, we did some damage today and I'm really happy with how we did so anyway we're home now we left this stuff in the car because we don't want the kids to see it like all the bags and everything but I'm gonna I'm gonna share like a quick overview of everything I got um, for the kids and then I'll I'll film some more tomorrow and um, show you what I got for the kids then and then I'll probably do like a separate gift guide video hopefully um, I'm late to the game this year y'all like super late so I'm hoping I can do that video but if not it's it's all good but I'm glad to be home now I gotta get my youngest son ready for school tomorrow so I guess I'll pick back up and I'll catch you guys tomorrow all right guys, so day two of Christmas shopping. Let's see if I can get everything that I need to get done today. I don't think I'm gonna get everything done today. The goal though is to at least get my younger kids done. Like get everything for them. Because my oldest son is 22, he's an adult, he's not really asking for anything. And the things that he wants are mainly online. So I don't really have to worry too much about that stuff until next week. Because it's like codes and um, digital codes. So I do want to try and get my younger kids done today. We'll see if we can get that done. We'll see. We'll see. It's a lot. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself today. I have, um, it's almost 10.30 right now. My youngest son, he's the only one that's still in school. He gets out at 2.20, so. I have a little over four hours to get everything done. I'm going to two, no, I'm going to three places. So, um, no, I'm going to four places, y'all. We'll see. We'll see if I can if I can pull this off. We'll see if I can pull this off, y'all. I'm going to two different malls. I'm going to Pequeño Mundo because I need to get canvases for my daughter. And I have to go to the grocery store. So, that's a lot. Will I be able to do it? 
been keeping my fingers crossed. Obviously, if I don't get every single thing on their list, they already know. Like, when they give me a list, they already know. Please highlight the things that you want the absolute most. The things that's going to make Christmas magical for you. So that I can focus on getting those things first. And then the other less important things. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, it is what it is. Plus, like, all the little ex inexpensive stuff, I can throw those in their stockings. So, yeah, I hate being this last minute. And I feel like maybe it's not last minute to most people. Like, for my husband, he's like, this is not last minute. It's two weeks to Christmas. It's last minute. And it's not like I've never been last minute before, but not to start Christmas shopping. I usually have done something by now i usually have some things bought stockings bought gifts bought you know i usually have made some kind of progress before now it's it's rare that i'm starting like christmas shopping this late you know what i mean i like to shop year round i like to actually start shopping in september after we've celebrated all our birthdays and that just didn't happen this year and i could have i really could have like made a dent in Christmas by now and like shopped little by little instead of having to shop all at once because it's so much more expensive to do it this way to like buy everything at once however Christmas just wasn't a priority this year I just was not I wasn't focusing on Christmas I wasn't thinking about it I wasn't I didn't prioritize it I should have but I had bigger things I thought that I was focusing on and I should have like at least I don't know delegated you know in my mind but it is what it is I'm just thankful that we're able to go ahead and try to get um Christmas knocked out right now before it's too late I mean who wants to be out there the week of Christmas like buying up all the things. I have to go to so many different stores because I have four kids who have different interests. And yeah, I, I can't like just go to one store and get it all done. That doesn't work anymore when I could just go to the toy store and get all their gifts and be done in one shopping trip. It doesn't work like that. And talking to you guys now, I have five places to go to because I have two malls, Pequeño Mundo, the grocery store, and I have to go to the comic book store because my 14-year-old um, son has become obsessed, obsessed with comics in the last few months. Actually, since last year when I got him um, comics for Christmas in his stockings, he's become obsessed. That's what he spent most of his money on. That's what he wants for Christmas. So I'm going to go there. I have time. I'm just going to be boom, boom, boom. Try to get in and out of stores. I don't have time to be... I don't have time to be browsing, y'all. I just need to get in and get out. So, anyway. I don't know if it's going to be like yesterday and I say that I'm going to take you and I don't take you. So, if I'm not able to take you into the stores and into the mall with me, I guess I'll catch you guys back at home and I'll show you everything that I bought. Hopefully, it will be a a haul that I can actually like show you guys what I got the kids for Christmas this year. We'll see. Alright guys, I'm done at one mall. I'm heading to the next mall. It's hot. Like it's hot, which is a good thing, but I gotta turn on the AC. So, second mall. Um, I don't have a lot of time left. I only have like an hour. Uh, so, I only have a little bit of time to go into this mall to browse and I kind of already know what I need to get so hopefully it won't take that long for me all right guys I'm back home I actually did have time to do everything that I wanted to do today um, I wanted to squeeze in one more thing that I wanted to do but it wasn't like on my list which is I need to get toothpaste but I'm gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow I want to lay everything out and share what I got with you guys. I'm not done, but I did good.
I did good. But I wanted to share what I got the Angel Angel Tree Kids. Um, we already bought for one kid already, wrapped it, and we dropped that off. And so I bought for three more. So I picked a five-year-old boy, 10-year-old girl, and then I just wanted to pick up something extra. So I'm going to pick another name off the tree for like a four-year-old or three-year-old. I'm going to wrap all of these up and I'm going to stick the tags back on them and drop these off tomorrow. But I thought this was really cute. This was actually a suggestion because why couldn't I figure out what to get a 10-year-old girl? I have a 14-year-old daughter. I, I just couldn't. I went blank. Um, so the lady at the store helped me. Like all this arts and crafts stuff, you know, they're definitely um, age appropriate. And I figured hopefully she's into that. She likes that. Um, and then tomorrow I might like add a treat to each gift. That's what I got. All right. I got to go cook. All right, don't mind the mess, but um, I wanted to show you what I got my son's teacher, like his main teacher. He's in third grade and his tutor. So for his main teacher, I picked up this praline chocolate selection, like chocolate gift box. I do this every year. And then I got her a $20 gift card to... Walmart and according to my kids because my daughter used to have her to their like the same teacher my daughter had her for like two years she's obsessed with Minnie Mouse so they had these Mickey and Minnie Mouse glasses at the Walmart affiliate on sale so I snatched one up real quick before they sold out which I'm so glad I did um, it was a really good sale. So this is what I got my nine-year-old son's main teacher, his third grade teacher. I'm going to try to fit everything in this bag. I bought this bag today. And for his tutor, I think today's her last tutoring session until January because school's almost out. So she'll start back up before school starts up next year. So I'm glad I got these things today, just in case. So she has this chocolate. I got a couple of these because I also give a gift to like my husband's aunt who is our neighbor. And then my friend and her husband who happens to be my husband's cousin, they're also our neighbors. They live super close to us. So I also like to give them something small as well for the Christmas season. So um, I did go ahead and I got um, all of them, one of these chocolates. So this is the Tudors with the Christmas card, which did not print properly, but it is what it is. So she's getting that. And also a $20 Walmart gift card. So that's what I gave my son's teacher teacher and his tutor for this Christmas. So I told you guys I'd share everything that I've gotten so far for the kids for Christmas. So this is just an overview of everything. And this is like a good thing for me to do, try, try to figure out what I have left to buy, just to like lay everything out, separate everything into piles, make a list of what I already have, just to make sure that everything's even, because I really don't want to overbuy for one kid and underbuy for another. So um, let me just quickly go through everything I got. I think I'm going to go um, to Walmart tomorrow, possibly. And then I'm going to make a trip back to the mall sometime this week because I completely spaced and we're supposed to do, well, not we, the kids are supposed to do their secret Santas for each other. So yeah i'm telling you i'm not in it <laughs> i'm not in it this year i'm like dropping the ball on so many things but i'm going to end this video here by just giving you guys a quick little overview kind of go through a couple of things of what i got the kids because i think i want to film a separate video a separate gift guide video because 
a lot of the gift guides that they have on YouTube are for like younger kids. So I figured I could give people ideas if they have kids my age, my age, if they have kids that are my kids ages. So this is just two days worth of shopping. I think that's really, really good. Don't y'all think that's really good for two days worth of shopping? Do not ask me how much money I spent. That's a whole nother story. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I love to shop and I was so tired. I'm so done. I want to be done. But we have a couple of things coming from Amazon. And then, um, like I mentioned to you guys, I went to two different malls. So I went to the Lego store, got a couple of Legos for my boys because... They are Lego obsessed. Um, I got a couple of art supplies for my daughter. So I have these um, canvases right here. And then over here, I have just a couple of other art pieces for her. And I have like a big art piece that I bought for her that I think she's been asking for for a while. So she's not expecting that. She has no idea. I think she's going to freak out. I saw this for my oldest son. Like I said, he's not asking for anything really this year. So I really have to get creative to figure out what to buy him. That he has something. He has something to open on Christmas. I also got him some comic books. The Invincible comic books. And then I also got, I also got my 14-year-old a couple of comic books as well. Because he's super obsessed and into that. Let's see. Got the boys some like really good quality gaming headsets. Um, this is something my daughter asked for, so my husband got her that. Some more Legos, like more like stocking stuffer items. Underwear for my youngest. He's been begging me to get him new underwear, new socks. I got all the kids. Well. All the younger kids like Christmas PJs because I've been liking doing that. Uh, cute for the photo. And then they can just have like extra PJs to wear. Extra socks for my 14 year old. Some silk pajamas that my daughter asked for. And then these like cargo style wide leg pants that she asked for from Forever 21. As well as like this baseball type tee, tank top, this like beanie style hat. Y'all, she was serious. She gave me a list with pictures. She sent me like a ton of pictures. So that was really helpful. Back there, my oldest son, I got him this shirt. It's an extra large, but I have the receipt. So he can always exchange it for um, a smaller size or something different. It's like a PlayStation symbols. Some butterbeer from the Harry Potter. And this chocolate frog. Figure like stocking stuffers. Because I got to figure out what to get him for him to open. Um, my 14-year-old, he wants hoodies. We went to American Eagle. They're having a sale. Buy one item, get the other one 50% off. Got him a hoodie shirt he wants black jeans more black jeans um oh yeah the big thing for my um 14 year old son and my 15 year old daughter are these new cell phones the samsung galaxy a03 core these are um not brand new but they came out just a year ago so much better quality than the phones they have now and they need new phones for the upcoming school year plus they just need phones that work a little bit better faster and are not like old and like dying so we got them those this is a really good deal and then we also got like phone cases for them um screen protectors for them earbuds for my daughter little stocking stuffer things and then this guest cologne for my um 15 my 14 year old and then my nine-year-old he's been asking for a red watch for a while 
So I got him a Casio water resistant, like glows in the dark and everything. Um, so that's the overview. I'm going to make a list, separate everything, see what else I need to buy. Um, who can I be done with? That's what I want to know. Like, who can I just cross off the list and be like, you're done. I'm not buying you anything else. So, yeah, that is everything I picked up in the last two days. Um, stay tuned because I feel like the next video is going to probably be my gift guide video because I'm going to be done shopping this week. I, I know it. I'm going to be done shopping this week. That way I can just fill my gift guide and have that up if you guys need ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. How's your Christmas shopping going? <laughs> I hope it's going better than mine. Let me not play. It's going good. I hope yours is going good as well. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, look at all these receipts. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to have to add it all up to see how much I spent when I'm done. Cause this is crazy. But all that to say, I'm done with two kids. Two kids are completely done for Christmas. So yay.